Hey there everybody, my name is Academy Moore. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9 Destiny Mode. We're gonna continue this series, guys. On the last video, if you guys missed that up, make sure to go watch uh, the last video before watching this one. We simulated the entire uh, year, se second year that is, with all of our new players in the team and was... We ended up having a pretty good season with 54 wins, 20, uh, 20 losses, and, and 8 other losses in overtime and shootout, which is a really good record uh, for a season. Uh, an awesome record, I should say. So we played even better than last year, so I'm hoping that we can make it really far, even f uh, at the same place as last year. Last year we made it all the way to the finals of the Cup, and we lost against uh, basically eventually the Stanley Cup champions. I'm hoping that this year we uh, win the cup. We actually win the cup because if we can, if we couldn't make it this far the la last year, we can sure as hell make it as far uh, this year and even farther. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Um, I don't want to waste too much time here. We're just gonna jump right into the uh, into the actual playoffs, guys. I forgot to look at who were, we were facing up against, but that's fine. First, uh, first game looks like we won five to four, so that's really good for us. Really good. So Boshme is the name of the goaltender in the net. Hopefully, uh, this year Plant actually plays better in the net uh, compared to last year when it came down to the actual playoffs, because that's what that's what made the made the difference. We couldn't count on our uh, main goaltender, and that's what uh, basically made the difference. So Philadelphia, let's look at our. Who we're facing up against. They've got Simon Gagné, Mike Richards, uh, Martin St. Louis, uh, Scott Hartnell, Daniel Briere, uh, P Peter uh, Sikora, Ryan uh, Malone, Carter, Opshaw. So they've got a really good de depth team uh, offensively. So they're really, yeah, offensively they're going to be good. Defensively, they're not that uh, shabby. They've got a, a couple of good defensemen, but aside from that, nothing to worry about. And instead of bar of playing their uh, regular goaltender, Martin Biron, in at 85 overall, they're playing a goaltender that's 67 overall for some reason. So we gotta make we gotta make sure to score a lot, guys. I mean, we're facing up against a goaltender of 67 overall. If we can't score against that. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. And we only scored three goals there. We lost four to three. We cannot get outshooted or outscored. It just, it's, it can't happen, guys, all right? We're f literally facing up against a shitty goaltender that shouldn't even play. He should probably be a backup in the AHL for all I know. And he's playing there as a starter in the NHL. Come on, guys. We got we to gotta score here. So it's one to one after two games. There we go. That's what I want to see. Four to one, seven to two. That's more like it. That's more of the type of game we should have against a goaltender like that. I mean, goaltender like that's gonna give seven goals per game for sure. So we gotta make sure that we play good. Uh, we get this thing done and uh, and quick. So two, two to uh, not uh, to one. After three games, we're gonna continue, guys. Uh, absolutely, we should be able to defeat easily the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, the real question... Oh my god. Five goals, six goals. Oh, thank you, Jock Blount. Uh, thank you for giving us fucking six goals. I swear, our goaltender is just trash. Let me just try something out really quick. Maybe it's because I actually look at the simulation in itself. Let's just do a quick simulation like this. And see if he actually plays the same or if it's just because of the slow simulation and everything. Let me just see really quick. 8 to 3. See, he gave up only 3 goals this time around, not 6 goals. I don't know what's going on, guys. We're just gonna go uh, with it. So, a great win right there. 8 win, uh, eight goals for us, which means it's 3 to 2 for us. One more win. One more win, and we eliminate uh, the Philadelphia Flyers and we move on. There we go. We win 6 to 2. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And we're going to uh, the next round, guys. Nice. Second round. So already, at least we went to the second round already. So that's uh, really good for us. We're, we're going to face up in the second round against 
uh, Florida Plan uh, the Florida Panthers, which is uh, pretty interesting. They've got a really good record, a better one than uh, Philadelphia at least. 42 and 28th and 12. So that's actually a pretty decent record. We'll see how it goes for us. Let's go see what this team is all about, the team we're facing up against. So Philadelphia, let me just go see really quick. Uh, not Philadelphia, for Ryder. Okay, so Robert Lang. Seems like their best player is Nick uh, Nor Nathan Horton at 86 overall. So they definitely don't have any offense. And goal t defense, they've got a good de defense, man, in the uh, Gila Point. But aside from that, shitty defense. And goaltender, they're actually pretty decent in goaltenders with Thomas Volkum. So let's uh, go ahead and simulate the first game, see how it goes. It's going to give us an indication. There we go. 5 to 1. Good indication how all this uh, second round is going to go, guys. With. Um, with uh, five to one, I mean they've got good uh, good goaltenders, but a shitty offense and shitty defense. So uh, we're much better than them overall. Seven to five. Now I don't know why Jacques Plante is giving so many goals, guys, in the playoffs. He's just not a playoff guy. He is just he. He just isn't. So here we go. We won our third game as well. We might be able to get a shout out, complete shout out on the uh, Florida Panthers right here. Which would be pretty nice if we can do it. So let's try, see if we can do it. Complete shout out? No, we couldn't manage it. We <laughs> Plant gave up six goals. That's ridiculous. Fosberg is injured. We're gonna have to assist his coach, replace him. That's not good. 14 days, so he's not injured for too long. He's gonna miss a couple of games, but that's okay. Let's go, guys. Oh my shit. Now Fosberg is injured, and now we're, we just lost two in a row. That's not good at all, guys. That is not good. Come on, I believe in you. Don't go into a seventh game. You anything can happen into a seventh game. You don't want to go there. Come on, guys, win it. Oh, you fucks! All right, Fosberg is back. We gotta give him, uh, get him back and quick. Fosberg was on, was on the right wing, wasn't he? Where was he? I sh I forgot. Damn, I for. Oh, you, he's a, he says uh, centerman. Yeah, he's a centerman. So Ko uh, Kozlov, you're out of there. Here we go. Fosberg is back. Okay, we're going to have to put him uh, where he was before. Nope, that's Fosberg. is supposed to be there. Fosberg again over here. Man, he's playing everywhere. Good Lord. That was a huge loss right there for the couple of, uh, couple of games. Hopefully that's gonna permit us to win the last game. We we were winning three to nothing and now we lost three in a row. And look at this, we're going to seventh game. But look at Jacques Plant though, he's not helping. Jacques Plant is just not helping. He's just a terrible goaltender in the playoffs. Gives up six goals, five goals, another five goals, five goals per game. How are we supposed to get to win games in the playoffs if we if our goaltender gives up five goals per game? Like that's not gonna we're not, we, we can't face up against. This is just terrible. Our goaltender is just terrible, guys. I'm sorry, but we're, I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing as last year and put fucking Litanen in here because Jacques Plante is garbage in the playoffs. I don't know why. Like, honestly, what is this? Let's look at the stat. Yeah, yeah look, 2.95 and three uh, goals per game in uh, the season. We come off in the playoffs, 3.35, 3.75, like it's almost one goal more than uh, per game. I don't get it. How is that? How is that possible? Like, how is he playing that bad? This shit is ridiculous. Let me just put Litanen in here. Litanen's actually pretty decent in the playoffs. Pretty good even. But put Litanen in here. I know we can count on him at least. For Christ's sake. Now come on guys, seventh game, we gotta go we gotta go further than the the second round. Let's go. I believe in you. Five there we go, five to three, we win it. Oof. Only three goals for that uh, Littleman gave. See, he didn't give up five goals. God damn it man. I don't know why Jacques Plant is playing so horrible in the playoffs. It's just abnormal to me. 
It doesn't make sense, guys. Oh, well. So, here we go. We're facing up against Pittsburgh Penguins in the third round. So, one, uh, we just get past this round and we basically go right in the Stanley Cup play. All right, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. Now, we're facing up against teams that are better and better uh, in their records. As you can see, Pittsburgh are 47 wins. So, Pittsburgh is much better. They do have our, uh, the top five players, uh, one of the top five players in there, which is Lafleur. So uh, we have uh, the top three, which is Dickie Moore. So that's even better for us. Uh, let's see if we go. I'm going to keep uh, Letanen in here. I'm going to keep Letanen in there as long as I know that I, I can count on him at least. On Unlike goddamn uh, Jacques Plante, I know I can count on um, Letanen, guys. So... Letanen, you're, you're the goalie I'm picking for the playoffs. Okay, six goals. Gave up six goals right there. Forget it then. I'm putting back uh, Jacques Plante because I don't want to mess things up there. All right. Letanen, you played all right. But the six goals right there, that was not good. All right, we need better than that. So, three. Uh, it's 1-1 one, one right now the, in the, uh, the third round. So, we need... We need something right here. Oh my God, we lost the, we lose the other game. Another fifth, another five, um, five goal game given by Jacques Plante. It's ridiculous. This goalie is garbage, garbage goalie, guys. Why? Why? He should be an awesome goalie, and it's just garbage in the playoffs. I don't get it. He's Black Burbowski in real life. What the fuck? All right, you know what? Third game, uh, uh, fourth game, please. There we go. Oh my God, there we go. There it is. That's um, two to two right now. We can do this. We can beat this guy. We got 44 wins in the season. The season. Let's go, guys. A win, please. Oh shit, another. F no way. Litton and you're going back there. Plant. Uh, if we're losing, we're losing with Litton and fuck this. All right. This. Fucking garbage goaltender. I'm gonna trade him next year, guys. I swear I'll trade him. Fuck Jacques Plante, man. He's terrible. Terrible in this game. Five goals per game, basically. It's ridiculous. Litanen, you're all we're, you're all we've got. We're losing three to two. We gotta win the two last games in order to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals once again. Let's go. I believe in you, Litanen. Let's go. You got this. We're going slow simulation. Oh, frack. Oh, we're lost. It's over. Might as well just simulate right now. We lost 7 to 1. Litton and shot the bed as well. I don't know what to do. Two goaltenders that don't do the job anymore. Uh, I mean, we can't score goals, but we're not going to score 7 goals per game. That's just not going to happen. Fuck, man. Where is my defense? All right, whatever, guys. Uh, ended up having a worse year than last one. It's not a bad year, but it's not as good as the other one. The first year we went to the Stanley Cup Finals, and this year we we couldn't make it there. We made it to the third round, but god damn it, this is ridiculous. Pittsburgh Penguins, uh, I hope they were going to win the cup, because if they don't, that just means that uh, we lost to losers, which means we are losers. Uh, of losers, which is really not good. All right. Hopefully Pittsburgh wins the cup because I swear, soon it's like Saint Jose. Saint Jose is gonna be in the Stanley Cup Finals as well. Looks like uh, the Sharks won the cup. So God damn it, we ended up being garbage. I guess not a good simulation for us. We didn't lose to the Stanley Cup ch uh, champions. That is not a good thing for us. So. St. George Sharks, they won the cup, guys. Here we go. That's not a good thing at all. Let's see how it's going to go, though. We're going to see the uh, actual retirements and everything. See, we can pick up in the free agency as well to help out our team. Shanahan decided to retire. Modano, they, they retired as well. Got a couple of players here, so they're really good. Uh, Defensive-wise, let's just we'll go see really quick. The defense, I guess Patrice Brisbois, one of the legends. 
decided to retire as well. Nothing really. Goaltenders, no goaltenders that uh, really were worth the price. But a couple of legends here and there who decided to retire. Let's go into the uh, the draft right away, guys. Not waste any time here. I'm going to go right into it. 28th position already. So it's kind of a... We don't we don't get the draft the good draft picks because we get far into the playoffs but then we just lose we don't get to the final I mean if we get far to the playoffs like last year and actually lose to the Stanley Cup playoffs it's fine by me but going far but not losing to to the Stanley Cup uh, champions it's it's garbage all right it's not a good thing so I think this guy might be a good one. This might be a good choice. 20 years of age. That's way too old. Way too old. That's not good at all for us. Oh, well. I'll pick him up anyways, I guess. Wait. Low. League interest is low. They've got some interest for this guy, I guess. I'm going to look at the interest. What about the uh, interest uh, here? Actually, it's pretty high for this guy. This guy might be a good one, guys. Let's pick up this guy, Christensen, all right, as our first one. So Christensen, let's see what he was. The the rest of the 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 guy uh, the, the players I'm just going to skip. But Christensen 73 overall, really good. Left one year 73 overall, I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that, guys. All right, uh auto draft for the rest because I'm not um I am not good at drafting, so let's just do other draft, other draft, all of this. There we go. So we'll just see who we the AI picked up for us uh, in the draft pick itself, uh, because I don't. I'm just terrible for drafts, so in this game, so might as well not do it. All right, let's see. Resign players. So these are the players we need to resign right now. Um, do I want to sign this guy? I think he's one of the prospects we uh, we got. We just got him. 64 overall. He's uh he's C potential. I don't want him. He's not he's going to be garbage. He's not going to be anything. Um Brian Little, 22 years of age, A minus. He's going to grow a lot for us, so definitely I want to keep him. Most definitely. Actually, he did not have a great year at all for us. That's interesting. Didn't get, he didn't get a, a great a got he didn't got a, a great year at all so minuses for every uh, everywhere yikes this is not good actually Fedorov though Fedorov do you want to come back oh that's not good I'm gonna have to hold on on these guys then I don't want to go for the minuses Kovalchuk absolutely I want I want him back a uh, beautiful player right there so. Let's see what we got. So he wants four years. We're gonna give him, I guess, nine. Or he wants four me uh, four years, eight point eight five. Um, four years. It's gonna bring him up to thirty one years of age. I want, if I want him for thirty six, uh, two, thirty three years of age, I guess I could get him for, I could get him for nine point two five probably. We'll try it out. Um, we can move him. So we're going to try to sign him for maybe 9.85. We're going to try to get him for 9.85. 6 million. Should work out. All right. Kozlov. Can, do we want him back? Do we really want him back? I mean, he was more of a backup. He was our backup goal uh, player. Actually, paper very good. So yes, he's a good player. We're gonna uh, get him back, I guess. Um, let's see how many years he wants. One year only. Let's give him for two years and see if he wants to actually come back or not. So one, two, that would bring up right there. That should do it for this guy. He might accept with uh, this contract. Uh, Steve Bejean. Do I want him? I don't think I do. We'll just see if he's good. He's not. Well, he's all right. He's all right. So I might as well sign him, since he's he's an okay player for the minors. Um, two years. 
for 33 years of age yeah sure let's do it actually five years if i can bring him up to five years hang on because three years it would mean i i need to give him 1.65 all right and another okay so four years i can go up until four years i guess at what at 2.15 let's see if he's gonna accept that four years christensen uh do we want him absolutely he's our first draft pick first overall draft pick so we're gonna definitely sign him and christensen i don't want this guy he's gonna be garbage Le right wing do we want entropov really good players these two we definitely want to sign these guys uh, good prospects especially this one he didn't play yet so entropov definitely want to sign you they're going to be a great player for us uh, clutterbach what did you do last year you were really great for the ahl so i'm going to definitely sign you um is he interested though yes he's then definitely interested so that's a, a good thing so we could give him i want him for three years so one more year i guess it's good enough for to put him at 1.65 there we go he should accept that dwyer do we want him I, we don't want him defenseman all right let's see what we got defenseman wise K pavel kubina does he want to come back he's actually a pretty good player for us yes awesome player he was our best defenseman i believe last year uh, if I'm not mistaking, that is for second best play, one of our best defensemen. So definitely wants to come back. Uh, I'm gonna get you for two years, buddy. All right, two years and uh, for a little bit less. So two years, one point, I guess uh, three point one five, uh, three point two five for two years. All right, up until uh, thirty five years of age, Matthew uh, Matthew Schneider. I don't know if I want him or not. He was, I think he was our backup. No, he was actually a regular a, a regular guy in our uh, team. And he's actually played pretty good. So I do want him back. So 1.9. Uh, 42. 40 years of age. What if I give him... Okay, so... That's going to bring him up to 4. 4 million. If I try for 4 years... It's going to bring him up to uh, 9 million right there. Exactly. So 2.9 for 4 million. Let's see if he wants to get that. Grossman can still grow 25 years of age. I'd say we might try to get him back. Definitely we want him back. Yeah, he's a good player. So Grossman, uh, we actually got him in the waivers. So that's a really good player to keep for our team. Um, five years. That's three more years. So that's um, 1.5 more. So that's a little bit too much. Uh, we only can only give him two more years. So I guess four, million, uh, four years for 2.47. Uh, All right, 2.475. Uh, let's see if he's going to accept that. Hopefully he will. Goaltenders. See what we got. We got a couple of goaltenders here. This guy's pretty new. I mean, he, does, he doesn't mean anything to me. He's a C potential, though. 76 overall, pretty good. We could get him. And get him back, but uh, we definitely need to sign Pavlek because Pavlek is our goaltender of the future, for sure. So Pavlek, come back in here for five years, buddy. There we go. Five years. That's three more years, so I can't do that. I, for four years, I guess. I'll sign you for two, uh, four years at uh, 1.55. There we go. And uh, for the other ones, I guess these two are really good as well. I, I definitely want to keep these players because they're good goaltenders, prospects and all. So, yeah, they, they didn't play well just yet. So, I definitely want to keep this guy. Sign him for a minor deal. And s same thing for this guy. This is a one-year deal. So, one-way deal though. Um, yes, yeah, he's 24 years of age. He's got P minus potential. He can grow, but I don't know if he. I, I'm kind of. Did he play? He did not play this year, so. Um, kind of a waste. I'm going to sign him anyways, just to see what he can do for one year. Give him that contract he wants. 
Dimitrakas, uh, I don't, I don't want him. He's not gonna have a good potential. He doesn't have a good potential, anyways. Did he play for us? No, he didn't. He doesn't have a good potential. I'm not keeping him. Centers, no. All right, so these are the players we need to look at. All right, do we really want them back? Uh, we cannot sign Brian Nettle actually because he doesn't want to come back with us, which is a shame. He's an A minus. Would have been a great prospect for us. Uh, we do not want Tolpeko. It's just Fedorov. Do we want him back or not? Because he did not have a good year at all. Minus 10 and minus 3. That's minus 13 in total for a year. That is uh, not good, guys. It's not good at all. It's not a good production for us. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna actually. I'm actually not gonna sign him. All right. I'm gonna wait and see uh, who get, goes back. Who decides to sign with us and uh, who doesn't. Want, who are we gonna have to give more and stuff? Uh, it doesn't really matter for contract wise, but it's just a a matter of uh, saying of seeing who comes back and everything. So Pavlak is back. We got Blackburn. We've got Tur Torpol, Kovalchuk. Kubina, Kozlov, Schneider, Bijan, Grossman, Clutterbug, Intropov, and Christensen. They, it seems like they all accepted. So I'm just going to go to the free agency. I'm going to let um, Fedorov go to the free agency. See if we got better players than that, them, than him. And we'll see how it goes. All right. So for I just look at our contracts, guys. And we actually don't need any players at all. We don't even need to go to the free agency, but we can look at the players there there is in the actual free agency anyways. We might as well try, you know. Why not? So, we got Yarame uh, Eginla. We've got Pronger. We've got Lindstrom, Fedorov, of course. Uh, Simon, Kessel, and Sava, which are basically the top guys. Goaltender-wise, Tuscala is the best player available. All right, so that's pretty much it, really. There's nothing else um, aside from that, so I don't think it's really anything worth aside for these three guys, probably. For the rest, I'm pretty jam packed. I'm pretty good as as, as it is. My team is gonna be good enough. Um, Lidstrom, Pronger, Iginla could be interesting to have another one of these defensemen with us. Why not, right? But um. As you can see, they're not interested. So I cannot go for Pronger. I can't go for Lidstrom. They're not interested enough. I could go for Egging now, but I have to give him a little bit more. The one I have to give him the years he wants right now. So the two say he wants... How many years does he want? He wants four years. So I have to give him the four years. And I have to give him on top of that the maximum, which is 9 point... Um, Zero five, so I'm, I might as well. You know, we're we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to get Egging. Uh, if he if he signs with us, fine, that's a bonus. But um, that's uh, that's what we're kind of have to do right here. And anything else, uh, Fedorov, we cannot go for him either. See, there's no players here we can go for. Uh, Kessel, Phil Kessel, I uh, is he interested in us? He is. I believe interested enough yes he's interested enough to the point where we can actually go for him but we're gonna have to give him a little bit more I don't really know I don't think I were gonna we're gonna go for Phil Kessel I mean unless like he's a really good player or not actually he plays he had a pretty good year last year maybe he got he's got a good potential you know what let's try him out maybe we don't need centermen. That's one thing for sure that I know of. Pretty sure we don't need a centerman. Uh, let's fuck it. Let's go. Let's try him out. Let's try him out, guys. So, he wants six years. We need to give him what he wants since he's not that interested in us. So, we're going to have to give him 7.150 for six years, which is a lot. It's a lot. I'm not going to lie here. All right. So, anything else? doesn't look like it defenseman I don't think we have any other options really defenseman we got this and that uh, no I think we're good I think we're good defense wise 
and uh, we should be good. I, I that's the only thing I'm gonna go for is try to get uh, Egin La or and Phil Kessel. For the rest, we don't need any players per se, so we're pretty good at player wise. We're just gonna keep what we have. Let's see who decides to uh, go with us. All right. Hopefully we get the these two by uh, sheer luck, but we'll have to see. Cam Ward. No big players so far as sign as you can see they're still there waiting. Normally it kind of takes a long time. So happy to accept. Nice. Egging last signs with us guys. So we got another great player with us. Another legend. We got Egging uh, Kessel did not want to go with us though. So he went for another team. Which uh, he went with uh, Los Angeles. That's interesting. This drum went with um, Ottawa. Eric Johnson went with uh, Ottawa as well, so otherwise solidifying their defense. Montreal went for Cogliano. It's interesting. Let's see where Pronger is gonna go. I'm really interested to see where Pronger is gonna go, guys. And Fedorov as well. I want to see these two guys where they end up going. No, don't don't do that. That's not what I want to see. No, come on, what the fuck am I doing? I'm pressing the wrong things, boys. There we go. Okay, they still haven't signed with anybody. Alright, Fedorov, a Pronger, they're still waiting. They still haven't inserted anybody, anyone. Nope, they're still on, up on there. Still available, guys. Alright then. I mean, they're still available. Good lord, nobody wants them or something? Alright, that's interesting. Are they going to sign with anyone? No, they're not. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I'm going to make a, a rule here, alright? If there's a big player, if there's big time players, 90, like, 94, uh, if there's a 90 plus player that's uh, still an age, uh, a free agent, even if he's not interested in me, after the 30, the 30 of, uh, of, the li of July, he, we have to sign him, all right? We have to sign him. If at the 30th of July, he's not, nobody wants him. All right, well, we're gonna have to go for him. We're gonna have to sign this guy because we cannot let a player like that s just sleep an entire year into free agency, okay? All right, yes, it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So you, uh, you don't have, yeah, nobody's interested in Pronger for some reason, so. Buddy, you're, ha you're gonna have to come with me. He's not interested uh, in me, so we're just gonna have him to give him the one year with uh, 8.3. He will accept for sure with that. So one year, 8.3, he will accept. And that's gonna make our life a little bit easier here, all right? Accept, please accept. Don't go into free, there we go. Extremely happy to accept. Obviously, we are the only team who went for him. So that was our uh, new rule. I guess I just implemented because I do not want to see any players that are 90 plus overall and still st are still stuck in the free agency, right? For an entire year. That's not gonna, I'm not gonna let that happen. So just gonna go right into it, right into the, the thing. We're gonna look at the rosters, see how they look and everything. And uh, I'll see you guys once everything is good. All right, boys. So this is what our team's gonna look like next year. Uh, once we start up the season, it's going to be Dickie Moore with uh, Peter Fosberg and Egingla. One hell of a filthy first line. Second line is awesome as well with Kovalchuk, Stahl and Colby Armstrong. We've got uh, third line, Steve Schott with Fritschi and uh, Blake Como. We've got the fourth line, Alex Tange with uh, Williams, Jason Williams and uh, Miroslav Shatan. All right, so we're a little, a little bit weak on the center position and uh, right wing position, but they're good. These players at 79 overall, they're good enough to play in their right uh, in the center, in like NHL. That's why I, I kind of went for them. I I, uh, I didn't go for anyone in the uh, actual uh, free agency. Uh, defense wise, we've got Pronger with Robinson, Kubina with uh, Boomister, and Valabek with uh, Schneider. And uh, I guess our two scratch players, the ones that are going to be replacing, of of course you already know Kozlov, and it's going to be Sami Salo as well for defense, and of course our two goaltenders as always, Jacques Plante and Letonen. 
depending on how Plant uh, deal goes this year um we'll see how it goes guys i hoping that he's gonna have a decent year or that he's gonna produce all right because i swear man this uh i really don't like how it goes sometimes uh, so a potential um dwyer is actually pretty good as well but i i need one of these two i need one of these two to take place instead i need pavlek to play because pavlek is actually pretty good He's our top prospect right now. So I think I should go with Blackburn and Pavlik. All right. All right, let's go. We're good. We got everyone. I'm going to uh, just leave it here for now. I'm going to stop the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.